something is alive inside 3i slash Atlas. That's the message hidden in NASA's latest data, a message no one can explain. When the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto the fastest interstellar comet ever detected, it caught a steady, pulsing glow at its core, an engineered-looking light that suddenly spiked by 40%. Hours later, astronomers watched as 3 i atlas changed course, as if under control, then listened in stunned silence as a repeating signal replied to a SETI probe exactly 72 hours after transmission. If the impossible is happening, and an unknown intelligence is steering straight for us, what do we risk missing before it draws closer? Officially, it's called 3i Atlas, third interstellar object, discovered by the ATLAS survey team on July 1st, 2025. The name means it comes from far beyond our solar system, somewhere out in the thin disk of the Milky Way, possibly from a star system twice as old as our sun. To spot something like this, you need a global network of telescopes, ATLAS in Hawaii, Vera Rubin in Chile, Zwicky up in California, all feeding data to the Minor Planet Center. Their first confirmed images showed a nucleus about 11 kilometers wide, or just under 7 miles. That's nearly as big as Mount Everest, racing toward the inner solar system at more than 130,000 miles per hour. For comparison, that's almost twice the speed of a typical comet from our own backyard. The orbit is what really sets 3i Atlas apart. The math is clear. Its trajectory is hyperbolic, with an eccentricity greater than 1. That means it's not bound to the sun at all. It's just passing through, on a one-way trip, never to return. And while most comets follow long, stretched-out ellipses, this one's path slices straight through the plane of the planets, crossing the orbits of Mars and Jupiter in just a few months. It will never come closer than 170 million miles from Earth, but its speed and direction confirm it's an interstellar visitor, not a local wanderer. Astronomers from the ATLAS project have spent countless nights tracking every shift in its position, refining the orbit with each new observation. For the scientific community, this is a rare chance to study material from another star, something that's only happened twice before, with Oumuamua, Oumuamua, and Borisov, BOH Risov, but 3i Atlas is bigger, brighter, and moving faster than either of them. Its sheer scale and velocity have made it the focus of an international effort, with telescopes across the globe racing to gather as much data as possible before it vanishes into deep space. August 6th, 2025. As the James Webb Space Telescope locked its gaze on 3i Atlas, astronomers expected the usual, a cold, drifting hunk of rock and ice. Instead, the NIRR spec instrument picked up something that didn't fit the script. At the heart of the object, the infrared spectrum showed a steady, centralized glow, brighter and more focused than the diffuse heat you'd see from a normal comet's coma. Over the course of several hours, that glow didn't flicker or fade. It pulsed. The thermal maps revealed a rhythmic surge, a sudden flare, nearly 40% above baseline, repeating with a regularity that immediately set off debate among the web science team. Martin Cordoner's group at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center ran the numbers twice. The pattern wasn't random, and it wasn't tied to sunlight or the comet's rotation. The pulse came from deep inside the nucleus, not from jets or sunlit patches on the surface. A few scientists quietly wondered if this was just a weird outgassing event, maybe an exotic pocket of CO2 venting all at once. But the symmetry of the heat spike and the way it returned to the same level each time looked engineered. Most comets show irregular bursts driven by sunlight and uneven layers of ice. Here, the energy release was clockwork, like a machine powering up, then idling, then powering up again. The web team flagged the data for immediate follow-up. Was this natural, or was something inside 3i Atlas controlling the flow of energy? For the first time, the conversation drifted from chemistry to the possibility of design. Just hours after the thermal pulse, something ODD started to show up in the astrometric records. Rubin Observatory analysts 
who specialize in tracking tiny positional changes, noticed a subtle but persistent deviation in the predicted path of 3 I Atlas. These are the people who live and breathe residual plots, charts that show the difference between where an object should be and where it actually appears, down to fractions of an arc second. Normally, outgassing from a comet can nudge its orbit, but the numbers here didn't quite match the usual pattern. The shift wasn't random, and it didn't align with the direction of sunlight or the known jets mapped earlier in the month. Instead, the object's trajectory bent ever so slightly toward the inner solar system, a few tenths of a degree off the established course. The timing was hard to ignore. The flare in the thermal data and the course deviation overlapped almost perfectly. Rubin's team ran their models again, testing for every natural explanation. Solar tides, asymmetric jets, even gravitational echoes from passing asteroids. But the best fit still required a small, sudden change in velocity right after the heat spike. Not a wild maneuver, but enough to rule out a simple, steady push from outgassing alone. For context, these course changes are measured in meters per second, and the residuals are usually buried in the noise. Here, the deviation stood out, just above the threshold for statistical significance. No one was ready to claim artificial guidance, but the data forced the question. Was 3Y Atlas actively steering, or was nature just playing tricks with our instruments? The debate was about to get a lot louder. Radio telescopes around the world began scanning 3I Atlas almost as soon as its unusual heat signature was confirmed. SETI's Allen Telescope Array, located in Northern California, was among the first to zero in on the object, pulling down hours of raw data every night. The operators were hunting for anything out of the ordinary, especially narrow-band radio signals, which do not occur naturally in space. A few days into the campaign, the automated filters flagged something strange. Buried in the background noise was a repeating pattern, one that cycled every 11.4 minutes, drifting in frequency just enough to match the Doppler shift of Atlas itself. The signal was narrow, less than a kilohertz wide, and did not match any known satellite or terrestrial interference. The SETI team ran a battery of checks. They ruled out local electronics, checked for aircraft, and compared the data against other sky surveys. The pattern persisted, always coming from the direction of Atlas and nowhere else. Then came the real surprise. 72 hours after the first detection, the signal changed. The modulation shifted, now mirroring a coded pulse that SETI had transmitted toward Atlas three days earlier. A simple string of prime numbers, sent as a test. The reply was not a perfect match, but the timing and structure were close enough to set off alarms. Astronomers and engineers debated the odds. Could this be a natural emission? Perhaps a quirk of cometary plasma? Or was it a glitch in the system? A product of overlapping signals or software artifacts? The SETI operators, led by Dr. Lena Morales, insisted on caution. They released the raw spectra and timestamps to independent labs, inviting anyone to try to replicate the result. But the coincidence, an apparent answer, time to the second, was impossible to ignore. For the first time, the question was not just what Atlas was, but who, or what, might be listening. Skeptical astronomers weren't content to let speculation run wild. The first step was to check the numbers. Could a natural outburst explain both the thermal flare and the subtle course shift? Comet physicists set up jet force models using the standard Marsden equations for non-gravitational acceleration, plugging in measured outgassing rates and coma brightness. The math worked out. A burst of carbon dioxide, or carbon monoxide, venting from a sunward jet could nudge the nucleus just enough to match the observed trajectory change. But here's the catch. These models predict a smooth, continuous push, not a sudden, single jolt. When they comb through the Minor Planet Center's raw tracking data, no discrete Delta V event popped out above the noise. The best fit stayed within the error bars for a typical active comet. No evidence for a hidden engine, at least not yet. Still, with each new anomaly, the urgency for more data only grew. October 29th, 2025, that's the date circled on every mission planner's calendar. Perihelion, when 3I Atlas swings closest to the Sun, just inside the orbit of Mars, at a distance of about 1.8 astronomical units 
For astronomers, it's the best and final window to catch the object before it speeds away for good. Teams from NASA, ESA, and Japan's JAXA have already mapped out a coordinated global campaign. Ground-based observatories in both hemispheres, space telescopes on standby, and a scramble to get rapid response CubeSats ready for launch. There's talk of hitching a ride on a commercial rocket, sending a tiny probe to fly past Atlas as it rounds the sun. The clock is ticking. Every new observation could rewrite what we know about interstellar visitors. As the world's telescopes prepare for the closest look yet, anticipation grows. What secrets will Atlas reveal when it makes its final pass? On August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope recorded a 40% heat pulse from 3 y uh, atlas followed by a measurable shift in its trajectory toward the inner solar system, events that defy current models for interstellar comets. SETI arrays then detected a repeating narrow-band radio signal with a 72-hour delay matching the thermal pulse. Yet despite these anomalies, no direct evidence confirms life or engineered technology within 3-slash-Atlas. Skeptical astronomers point to possible natural causes, like volatile jets, though calculations show the observed acceleration does not fit standard cometary models. As 3i-slash-Atlas approaches perihelion on October 29, 2025, at 1.8 astronomical units from Earth, a global network of telescopes and proposed CubeSat missions stand ready. What lies inside remains unknown, but every observation brings us closer to understanding whether 3i-slash-Atlas is a cosmic coincidence or something unprecedented in the history of space exploration.